Ah, the day with a picture behind me. Ah, uh, yeah, that's uh, Amos Nachum. He's a, he's a guy, he's probably one of my first clients I've ever had. A uh, still photographer. And he likes to take pictures of big animals, especially underwater. And uh, this specific day, he was there hanging in for a week longer because we never get the opportunity to do free diving because we never have the visibility. And this was taken exactly 15 minutes before he had to leave to go t to catch his plane. We had to we had to leave in 15 minutes after he took his picture. So he was real chuffed. But what happened is he went down, I sent him down, and I sent another guy down with him, and I followed because I was on just on snorkel. I just grabbed a tank, put it on my back, I didn't clasp it around my waist, and I just went down straight. And when I got there, that, that was probably about a four and a half meter shark. And there was like a nice ledge on the bottom. And I was sitting on the edge of the ledge. And the shark came straight in. And as the shark came, I waited and waited and waited. And when I got from me to you away, like two meters away from, from, from me, I just blew my air out and I stood up in front of it. And it got such a fright because I was so small. And all of a sudden, I became big. And it took off and ran straight up to the surface, towards the surface. And I just swam after it. And the guy was, I knew the guy was behind me and he, he still had the time to turn the camera vertical and take the snaps. And he was very chuffed. He came up to me underwater and gave me a big hug and a kiss. He took his regulator in his mouth and gave me a big kiss on my cheek. <laughs> and the shark, did he? Was uh, no, the shark just ran away for a while and came back again and started circling again. They just, it's just that moment, you know, if you charge them, they, they run away just to get away. And then they relax again, they come back. It's not a big deal, you don't chase a shark away forever.